This isn't a movie, this is a goddamn experience. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for 1917, and I'll get this right out of the way. This would have been my movie of 2019. This is incredible. Not just as a filming experience, but in terms of how they created this movie. Most of you probably know that the big selling point of this film is that it's a single simulated shot by Roger Deakins. Obviously it's several scenes put together, but the editing is seamless. And of course the cinematography is not only beautiful, but it's goddamn ballsy in terms of how they did certain stuff. There's several videos talking about how sometimes it would be a guy walking with a camera, he would pass it to a guy in a truck, they would travel a little further down, and then the camera would then be passed on again to another cameraman who would continue following the actor. How they put this movie together from a technical perspective, production-wise, background-wise, aesthetic-wise, is phenomenal. The attention to detail, not just with what's happening in front of the actors, but what's what's happening around them, and its attempt to continually keep you immersed in this narrative, in this setting, in this war, is phenomenal. It is one of the most intimate experiences in a war film that I will say I've ever had, and that's including Saving Private Ryan's opening D-Day section. And it's because of how they shot it in this single take experience, it feels like you are literally with them the whole time. You're not just an observer, you're experiencing their fear, you're experiencing their loss, their dread, their ever-waking nightmare of being in this war. Every time the characters are in peril, they're in some form of danger, I felt anxious. I felt fear. There were times where certain sequences would come to an end and I just let out this giant breath of air because it's like, holy crap, I can't take any more of this. Throughout this movie, you never really get a sense of downtime. You never get a point to really sit and relax or just kind of unnerve yourself because the characters are very rarely if ever in a situation like that because the race against time to get to these men to save them from being needlessly slaughtered is ever present ever with you in this whole experience and i like its overall sense of the futility of the entirety of the first world war the amount of unnecessary and needless slaughter that happened on both sides just to gain inches of ground the death the destruction the futility of it all is ever in the theme of this film and I enjoy this. The directing's fantastic, the editing's fantastic, the cinematography is obviously fantastic, the actors, their intimacy allowing you into their story is so incredibly well done. All the little elements that you would love to see on the side is just incredible to watch. I can't wait to finally see this in IMAX when Boar Wars gets out of there because it shouldn't be in there. This movie was made for IMAX. This is made to be watched in the IMAX theater, so I can't wait for that. If it isn't obvious enough already, 1917 is a 7 out of 7. It is a near damn perfect movie. I can't believe that I didn't get to see this last year, but then after realizing the Disney monopoly and how they always have to have their Star Wars Marvel products in them as many theaters as possible, the theater chains for the first four weeks, I understand why they delayed its release purely just so it actually get the attention and recognition it deserves. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. I can't wait to see this finally in IMAX, and I hope you get to too. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.